Okay, so this is the Japanese model, and it's going through a Line 6 Spire 5 on a Soldano uh, setup. I've got the gain reasonably low on that because it's very easy to overdrive these too much. And then what happens is you get, the, well, you lose actually the personality of the guitar a little bit. So this is front pickup, or bridge pickup rather, and it's just a C pentatonic. <laughs> Okay, same again, but on both pickups together. So I've got all of the tone and volume controls on full. And now on to the neck pickup. What happens with a lot of guitars is, depending on what pots they've got, you can lose a lot of the uh, the volume in a sort of a very early part of the switch. So, if for example, that's just the guitar acoustically, and that's on about two or three on here. So I can hear there's actually quite a bit of difference as you roll it up there. A lot of cheaper guitars, they have this kind of almost, it's almost like a switch when you turn it on, you've got everything coming through because they're using cheap pots. So we'll see what the Chinese one is like compared to this in the, in the, uh, in the next bit. Okay, let's have a look at the Chinese Tokai with exactly the same settings. Okay, so front pickup or bridge pickup. Neck pickup. together. Now I can hear quite a, a big difference but I don't want to kind of prejudice your opinion so I'm not going to say what I think. Um, if you've got any comments please leave them below. It'd be quite interesting to see what people think. Um, but you know, there's quite a big price difference on these guitars. I mean, you, you know, you could buy effectively three of these for one of the Japanese ones. And obviously, you know, that's a significant factor. But for playability and everything else, you know, I've been playing these guitars for a few days now, comparing them both. Um, they're, they're so, so close. And a lot of this stuff is subjective and very personal. You know, if you like big frets or how you like your action, what actual tone you're after. So don't forget that kind of stuff. If you're looking for a guitar um, in general, then you know it's very important to actually bear in mind what you like. It's not just about whether the guitar is good, it's whether you actually like it. So uh, anyway, let's have a little bit more of the Chinese one through the, the Solvano setup on the Spider. <laughs> Really nice sustain there.
I think it's really important as well to notice that uh, you know the intonation on these guitars is fabulous. Also, another big factor is tuning stability. Um, a lot of Gibson style guitars have real problems with this, and I've got to say this Chinese version is absolutely <laughs> rock solid. The tuning it just doesn't go out. Once it's in tune, it's fantastic. It's locked in. Playability is good. kind of Les Paul honkiness which I quite like uh, it's very sort of characteristic of the guitar <laughs> which is um, you know, a funny little thing just from swapping the guitars over the strap buttons on the, uh, this is the Japanese one uh, the strap buttons are not as substantial as the ones on the, the Chinese one um, which I actually prefer, they feel a bit more secure although I would probably put strap locks on this in due course like I do on most of my guitars you can see there's, uh, there's a pretty chunky button there Fender Supersonic now, which is uh, obviously all valve amp, and it's going through a Marshall power break, uh, so I can kind of run the amp a bit hotter, get some of that vibe goodness, and um, but I can keep the volume down a bit so I don't destroy my double glazing and uh, kill my neighbours. So let's check that out. <laughs> 